Not as good as you played all year right there, would you say? Uh, I mean, we played, that was a heck of a game against San Francisco the other night, too. And, and, uh, so we're playing our best basketball. So it's March, and, and uh, that's a great sign. You know, but, uh, yeah, to come into this, this environment against this team, I think has won 14 or 15 in a row, or maybe even more than that. Who I have massive amounts of respect for just how they compete and how prepared they are and how they play together. Uh, it's a heck of a win. I'm sure you guys expected they would have some kind of run in the second half, and they had a couple mm -hmm. of them. What did you, yeah. you think about both of the responses that you guys had? No, I mean, I, to your point, yeah, of course. I mean, they've, they've won 15 in a row for a reason, and they're tough and they're resilient. And coaches made a you know an adjustment, and so and then we made an adjustment, and our guys responded. So, but yeah, totally expected it. And, was hoping it wouldn't happen, but you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Was Ben Greg pretty subtly big there? At the yeah, end? he was just <laughs> solid. I mean, you look at his line, I think he was four for five. And, and, uh, you know, just did what Ben Greg does, made, made, made some really nice plays and had his hands on some balls. But, I mean, come on. Uh, Nemar was spectacular tonight, guys. I mean, he was, he was in almost all of our actions. And, Forceful, but yet under control all night. Getting his shots, finding guys. I think he had 20 and 10 assists or something. Hey, that. That's, a, that's a monster uh, line from uh, a, a point guard. Like Two turnovers and against one of the best defensive teams in the country. And then, like, Graham just steadily just delivers and delivers and delivers and delivers. And, um, he's been rock solid during this run we've been on. Talk about them defensively. You guys shoot 64% in the first half. What? What allowed you to be so efficient offensively? Nemhart <laughs> and, you know, making the right basketball play on all his ball screen actions. EK, uh, going against a very good post defender down there. Uh, strong, tough, athletic, smart post defender. And it was just two, it's a big time offensive player going against a big time defensive player. I mean, basically that. And then, actually, some of our other guys stepped up and made shots. Dusty Stromer came in and hit a big shot. Ben hit some big shots. Um, Braden, too. Braden. Braden came in. Yeah, good call. Uh, Theo. And then, uh, yeah. What would you think defensively? Were you guys pretty pretty well connected with the rotations? Yeah, no, and we were great. I mean, we had a couple, you know, little, you know, where we let our guard down a little bit. But, I mean, you know, they got – Fifth-year seniors and all this, and they they make adjustments and they're smart. Dukas is shooting the cover off the ball right now, and if you lose him at all, and we lost him a couple times. One was on me. We were in our 30 press, and I thought that was being good, but then we made one too many traps, and he found a three, and then he got going. And, but by and large, we directed the shots to where we wanted to direct them. That's what we wanted to do uh, when we played them this time. Transition game a little, too, against the team. We did. You know, we had one point in Spokane in transition, one. And so we challenged our guys there. It's not easy against them. They send everybody back. And uh, But, uh, yeah, so great job. What do you just think about the connection that Ek and Nemhard have have developed? I mean, I'm, I'm sure this is kind of what you imagined when they both committed to you guys the same day back in yeah, April. Yeah, but I think like that's been lost in all this, you know, everything. Like, what's wrong with us? And you know, the bubble and all this stuff. Like, we're, we've been getting better, okay? And those two had never even seen each other, you know, until basically late summer and then let alone played against each other played with each other in competitive environments with other guys and they're both very sensitive to being great teammates you know so they don't want to just walk in here and and take over and so we've had to settle into what our roles are and, everything. and, and uh, um, even like you know, what Randy said to me after the game we've gotten a lot better which is what this what you're supposed to do during a season and so I think that's what's been lost in all this narrative crap that's out there. But, uh, um, you know, that's you got amateurs making comments on TV, so that's what you get. That's what Gerlis said, too, about you guys improving and bracing your I mean, that's – I remember Bill Self talked about that way back in Maui. He's just, you know, you know, we each have teams, but he's like, hey, look, man, it's just what we do with our teams and how much – how – what we can do to make them better and get them better by the end of the year. That's that's our jobs. That's why we do this. That's, you know, why you're on a team, why we practice, why we, 
do everything that we do with players, coaches, everything. So these guys deserve a lot of credit, you know. We're looking back at some of our other films, you know, we weren't very good, you know, and now we're, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing some good ball. Graham and, uh, and Ryan said that they're not too concerned with the bubble and kind of the tournament picture, but do you think you guys maybe kind of left no doubt that you guys belong in the field? Or? Yeah, like I said before, like, there's so much, you know, just, uh, you know I, I don't even follow that stuff because it's just amateurs, amateur hours. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm 60 now, so I don't have to deal with that stuff. <laughs> and, and, and I love these guys, and I'll... I hope them is about we're going to hopefully get better, play better next week. You know, play my pickleball and get out with my dogs and, and all of you.